I promised some of you that I would show you how to do hanging indent from square one. I'm going to teach you how to use a little bit of the Microsoft Word functions. Trust me, these are best practices if you start you doing any amount of word processing at all. At all. Some of the tricks I'm telling you, they pay, they pay for themselves really, really quick. I don't know why Microsoft Word took out the automatic view option for ruler, but they did. So you have to go to view, you have to click ruler to make it visible. All good people should want to know what the ruler shows looks like. I don't know why they did that, but they hit it for people who don't use Word. I like those. They tell you things. When I'm editing, I like to see these format markers. Look here. You see this little circle there? That's there because I copied and pasted from Google Docs and I brought some weird formatting stuff. That may or may not cause a problem later on, but let's take it out. You don't even see that. Notice, you don't even see them in regular view. But it's only there because I copied and pasted from work, from a different, from web form, really. For one thing, everything in my class is double space. So go to paragraph and double space it. Another quick command, if you want to make it be really cool and impress people, do control A to select everything and then do control 1 to single space or control 2 to double space. That's a quick, that's a nice, nice, nice trick. I learned that fairly recently in my life. Highlight this title of anything. Everything has a title. Your working title could be just what I told you the assignment was. To, I'm going to do an increment project proposal and you can do one too later. I'm going to use my tab to indent the five spaces, which is measured. Actually, it's a half inch. It's not five spaces. So I hate when people do tab, space, 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 space. Because if I had done space, 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 it would look like space, 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 space. And that's really not the same as a half inch, is it? Normally, you indent the top line right there. You want to center works consulted. Do not, do not, do not hit space, 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 space until it looks about right. And don't hit tab, tab, tab until it looks about right because it, it just, it, it won't be perfect. Use this thing right up here. See it? Center, control E. Center text. Does it perfectly every time. Get rid of the extra hard returns. Another reason I like seeing in this view is that you see the extra hard returns and you get rid of them. My worst consultant I've started, it's got to be hanging in dent. I know right away it's not. I copied and pasted this from an actual PDF into this, and the formatting's awful. You don't expect it to look good. You have to do the formatting yourself. So, author's last name, comma, first name, period. I don't know if you need a period if you have two authors. I'll have to look that up and make sure that's right. But I do know that the second author is first name, last name. Usually a period at the end of anything in MLA headings. This actually is a logical order. This is the journal title, so it should be in italics. The article title is in quotation marks. And notice, everybody gives you this information, volume 42, number 3. But that's not what it looks like when it goes into a citation in MLA format. Let's go to new tab, enter Norton. And MLA, in case you didn't download already the Norton MLA update. But all you gotta do to find it is in a Norton and MLA in a search engine and it comes right up. Now, I need to know how to do a citation for works cited for a journal, which is a type of periodical which comes up periodically, a journal magazine. It's a journal numbered by issue. That's on page 21. Every time I use MLA format, I have to look stuff up. That's the basic format. Do details to note. Read page 21. Article and journal right there. They tell you author's last name, comma, first name, period. Quote, title of the article, quote, title of the journal, volume, issue, year. Notice, no, this is the instructions beneath it is an example. Do you see VOL down there? No. Do you see NO for number? No. You see this, if it's in order, if it's done correctly, every piece of punctuation, every order means something. Then we can put the page numbers. You just put the, the numbers of the pages and you know if it's in the right spot. That's what those numbers mean. Now, people don't know what medium is a lot of times. Think of, well, think about it. You get information from the media, right? Media is plural, singular is medium. 
what way was this information transmitted to you? Was it in print? And if you're looking at a PDF like we just did, I call it a print because it came out of a journal that we hold, but then that's how I treat it. There may be some different points of view from other faculty, but the reason I do it that way is because it's a photographic document, it's identical, and it has page numbers. I mean, it's not actually physically paper, but it looks like it, and you can use the page numbers to find things quickly. And the, because the page numbers are useful information, I, that's why I, why I call it print. However, if it's from the internet, it's called web. That's the medium, the way in which it was spread or prom promulgated. That's not a hanging indent. How do you do hanging indent? This is fun. I like this. You probably guessed it already. Grab that little tiny triangle on the bottom. Boom. Voila. Hanging indent. Don't grab the little boxy thing or it spins them both. With the top one and it'll mess stuff up too. Now, it works pretty similar in Google Docs. I can actually do hanging indent in Google Docs. I like what you want to do hanging indent in. But I have never gotten the bottom to move independently. But the, since the top moves independently, move the bottom over. Boom. Hanging indent.